thinking of relocating to Cherokee County or the Woodstock area? In today's video, we're gonna pull up a map and we're gonna walk you through the area and show you some of the different places that you may or may not wanna live. We're also gonna cover the four stages of relocation so that you can save thousands of dollars by avoiding mistakes that we've helped clients avoid for years and years. Moving into this area might be one of the best decisions for you, or it might be something that you decide against after you watch this video. If you like content like this, please give us a thumbs up and go down in the description below and uh, check out some of our links to some of our other videos that are vlogs for the area. And don't forget to give us a comment. We would love to hear from you. But let's get into this. So we've got the map here. Now this is uh, this map shows you Atlanta. So this is the kind of blown out view uh, that we're gonna have here. So let's go in and kind of give you a highlight so you know where you're at and what's going on in this particular area. We'll use the highlighter for this, okay. Obviously Atlanta, everybody knows, and you're gonna, we're talking about this northern area that's gonna be, uh, gonna be like up in this, this particular section, okay? Some of the areas uh, north of Atlanta that are great areas to live in can be Marietta, Kennesaw, Ackworth, Cartersville, Canton. Specifically, if you want to be in Cherokee County, you're going to talk about parts of Ackworth, not Kennesaw. We're going to talk about Woodstock, Canton. Uh, even up here where we hit ball ground is still in Cherokee County. And then uh, basically some of the parts down through here that you'll be able to see. Uh, Roswell and Alpharetta are not in the same area, neither is coming, but these kind of cover to the edges of that. Okay, now just so you know where Woodstock is going to be, is as we come up the corridor here, you're going to find Woodstock right in here. It doesn't particularly show on this one, but that's really where that's going to be. There's also great other surrounding areas that we can help like Dallas, Hiram, and Austell and Smyrna. Uh, these are not going to be in Cherokee County, but they have their they're price alternatives in which you could live in those areas. Okay, so let's let's move to the next one. All right, so Marietta's right here, and what you're looking at is 75 coming north, right? And then it bends around and goes up that direction. Where the breakaway is uh, over here is what we call 575. So this is 575 that goes up north and eventually becomes 515th, 515. 515 north of 575, where it just turns into a state route as you head into the North Georgia mountains. Talking specifically about Cherokee County, Waleska's inside of Cherokee County. So we got Waleska, we've got Canton, we have Holly Springs, and of course Woodstock like we were talking about. And we will also talk about an area in Woodstock which is a master plan community that a lot of people want to live in, where our office is, and a great place which is going to be the Town Lake area. Uh, and so Town Lake is part of Woodstock. If you live in Town Lake, you will have a Woodstock address, but Town Lake is its own thing. Okay, so here's Woodstock. As, as we do the blow up here, you'll see Woodstock's right here. Coming off of Woodstock, you have several exits that would be considered uh, in the Woodstock area. This map might be zoomed in a little bit much for you to see all of them, uh, but we can, we can kind of get down to it. So down here uh, is gonna be off the side of the map is gonna be Highway 92. This of course is 575 up through here. Forgive me for my overwriting there. And uh, this exit that you can barely see down here is gonna be exit seven. Exit seven will lead you into Woodstock. And then depending on where you wanna go, you can get to downtown Woodstock, um, either from Main Street down into downtown Woodstock, or of course you can come up here and go to exit eight and go this direction to get into downtown Woodstock. Either of those will work. If you, uh, if you choose to go left, you're gonna be headed this direction, you're gonna be headed towards Town Lake. All right, so this gets you into the downtown Woodstock area. You're gonna have a ton of um, restaurants and some awesome things that you can do coming down this area. Some of them show on the map like Century House. Uh, there's gonna be, uh, Mad Life's gonna be in here. Here's Ips. Um, and as you come down into here, there is a, uh, over in this particular area, there's an amphitheater where they have a summer concert series. This is a pretty dense area. There are places to live in here 
and you can, uh, this is more of the work, live, play community where you're gonna be, you're gonna see a lot of golf carts in this particular area driving around downtown and that's great if you like to live in that work, live, play environment. But if you wanna come to Woodstock and you wanna you know, frequent these places but you don't wanna live inside of the traffic, that's one of the things you're gonna wanna consider. So for example, when they have the summer concert series, I've heard estimates between seven and 12,000 people will descend on this small little area here and the, the streets will be shut down. There's gonna just be traffic like crazy. Well, they all pack into this area to watch uh, some live music and then leave. Now, going to that concert is phenomenal if you like live music. However, you may not wanna live in that, especially if you weren't gonna to go to the concert. So in that case, People tend to want to be in uh, in Woodstock proper, but not necessarily in the city limits of Woodstock. So let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, so we're back at that same uh, interchange, uh, which was over here, and then we went left. And uh, instead of going right to downtown Woodstock, you end up coming up what is known as Town Lake Parkway. And Town Lake Parkway breaks right here and continues up this direction all the way to Bells Ferry. And if you go the other direction, this will take you to Eagle Drive, which also leads over to the Bells Ferry area. And um, you're gonna find the Etowah High School here. You're gonna find ET Booth here. And if you're interested, Bascom Elementary is gonna be over here. It doesn't show on this particular map, but it's off of Wingate Parkway. Uh, and so those are gonna be the three Town Lake schools. Uh, just adjacent to this over uh, over towards the right uh, in these areas, you're gonna see Woodstock High School and that kind of stuff. As you come up into here, one of my favorite places uh, to eat and to be is gonna be um, El Ranchero, which is in the same plaza. This map shows it a little weird. Somehow it has um, uh, my old team name before Ursula and I joined together as Wilson Realty Group, and then it shows Ursula and Associates over here. So this is all um, really actually right here in this, uh, in this plaza. There's plenty of subdivisions where you can choose to live in here from varying price points. So here's some of the subdivisions that you might wanna consider living in. One of them is gonna be Wingate, which you're gonna find up here. One of them could be Town Lake Hills East, which is gonna be over in this particular area. Town Lake, uh, Town Lake Hills South uh, will be on, uh, on the south side here. They have West and they also have Town Lake Hills North. Town Lake Hills North is one of the more expensive areas to live, but you've got a lot of stuff in between. Headed up uh, towards uh, this area up here, you're gonna end up in Eagle Watch, the Eagle Watch area. And Eagle Watch has a private golf course where Town Lake Hills East is a public golf course. So those are the two golf courses that are in that area. In between those, you'll have the fairways, and this is Fairway Drive, and that sits in between, also on the golf course, but you can see uh, between Town Lake Hills East and Eagle Watch, that'll kind of be your midway point. This is a great bedroom community. It does have a ton of restaurants and it is very close to downtown Woodstock, so you can still go enjoy the summer concert series and some of the unique restaurants there as well. One of the other subdivisions that's not technically in, or at least most of it is not technically in Town Lake proper, meaning it's not part of the Master Association, but it's commonly referred to as Town Lake and is an excellent neighborhood is Deer Run. Uh, Deer Run is gonna be one of those ones that um, you might find entry price points definitely be better than what you would find in Town Lake Hills North, um, potentially uh, what you're gonna find also in Town Lake Hills East as well. So this is a phenomenal area. People in this area tend to call this a bubble and like to stay inside that bubble. So this is all part of stage one of relocating into the area. You want to figure out where you want to be. And we just spent some time in the map kind of showing you around Town Lake, downtown Woodstock. You've also seen a zoom out where you can look at Canton, which is also in Cherokee County, Holly Springs, Ball Ground, White Georgia, and Waleska are all areas that are great to live in. And this is all going to be inside that Cherokee County area. Now, other things that you want to consider as part of stage one when you're actually going to do this is watch some of our free vlog videos where we actually walk around. You're going to see us walking around uh, Town Lake. You're going to see us walking around downtown Woodstock, highlighting some of the restaurants, highlighting some of the activities and places around there, kind of showing you around. This is where we get in the community and actually kind of give you an in-depth deep dive and what it's like to live and play there. We spent a lot of time in Town Lake and in Woodstock and it's kind of a great hangout spot 
but there's also some detractors that might not be a fit for everybody that you wanna be aware of. The third part of stage one is going to be plan a trip. It is very beneficial if you come into the area, you can connect with one of our agents and we can kind of take you through the area and show you some of the things that we talk about on the videos that will help you get a sense and a feel to touch it and see it in a three-dimensional environment instead of just on YouTube. This is a great way for you to really identify where you want to be. If school districts are important, we can talk about the school districts. I know in this video we covered the Town Lake schools and we really didn't cover uh, the Woodstock schools just because of where they sit on the map. Uh, but Woodstock has excellent schools as well. And then when you get up into Canton, you're gonna have Cherokee High School, you're gonna have Teasley, you're gonna have other schools that are gonna be up in there, Knox, uh, uh, Knox Bridge. These are all going to be um, you know, excellent school districts with inside of Cherokee County. Some have higher rankings than others, and that may or may not matter to you. But these are things you wanna consider. Now let's talk about stage two. Stage two is the schools. Consider the school district that you wanna live in for resale value. Many clients contact us and they ask, hey, tell me about the school district. And this has no, nothing to do with whether or not they have kids or not, but it has to do with the long-term availability of them to be able to sell the house for people that do want to uh, move into those areas because they have family or they want their kids to go to that particular school. School district can be a great value add like a, uh, like a feature in a property or a neighborhood that's desirable. As part of the relocation process, at this point, since you've selected an area you, and you've vetted out the schools and you now are on the verge of relocating and you're gonna pack up your house, the next thing we want you to do as part of stage two is going to make sure you put aside certain documents that you're gonna need to be able to find when you're relocating that you do not want buried in a box. That's going to be birth certificates, passports if you have them, state IDs, wherever you're moving from, whether that's Georgia or another state, because you're gonna need these things to get things up and running, to be able to deal with DDS. If you're coming from out of state and you don't know what DDS is, think of the DMV. This is where you're gonna go and get your driver's license done. You're gonna need documentation, birth certificates, identification, so that you can get those processes done. So set those aside. You're also gonna need a form of valid ID uh, that is not expired in order to close on the property. I also encourage you to go ahead and keep your medical records because as some of these things, depending on what your medical needs are, you may want to establish a doctor and you're going to want access to this stuff. So separate it from the move so that you've got what you need when you get here. Now let's talk about stage three. Stage three is going to be the assess the items in your house. As you're going through this, one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen people make over and over again, including myself, we've done this too, is if you've moved, let's just say five times in your life, we've moved way more than that, by the way, but if you've done it five times and you have an entire room filled with boxes that has moved to all five of your houses and you haven't opened them in any of the five moves, this is a great time to go to those boxes and assess whether or not you need them so you are not paying to move stuff that you do not need. Plus, it allows you to be able to save space in your new house. It may be bigger, it may be smaller, depending on what your needs of the house that you are leaving. All right, so part of that stage three, let's talk about how to get rid of stuff that you decide you don't want. The old fashioned garage sale is a great way to do it. If you own the property that you currently are living in and you need to sell that, a garage sale is a great way to do an open house with your local real estate agent to have a lot of people come by and give you opinions on the house, to pull some more traffic through and to be able to sell, make some money and get rid of your stuff. If you don't like the old fashioned way of doing that, then Facebook Marketplace is your friend. Facebook Marketplace is a great way to get rid of things that you think are trash that other people will come pick up for free. Sometimes you can sell it and make money, but other times it's like, hey, we have this, it's free, come get it, and they'll just come pick it up from you and you don't have to deal with hauling it to the dump or costing you money. So the last part of stage three that I'm gonna highly recommend is consider hiring a professional mover. We've all done it before where we got a big box truck and we hired you know, a couple young guys to be able to help carry heavy things out and put them into the truck and then you move cross country or even if you're just moving from Lithonia up to Cherokee County, by the time the truck gets off of 575, your stuff's been jarred around so much that things that you actually wanted to keep, basically you need to throw away. And you just paid to move garbage and to break things that you really wanted. So instead, by hiring a professional mover, they have insurances. If you check and make sure they're heavily insured and they pack things correct, or if you're gonna pack it and do a DIY, you can go down that road as well. There's also things known as pods 
uh, that you can get where you can actually still hire a professional uh, movers to go ahead and help you load that thing correctly, have it brought and shipped and then dropped at your house, uh, at, you know, in the new state where you're moving to, in the new state where you're moving to. This is a great way uh, to ensure that stuff gets done correctly. So my own mother, when she moved, uh, she hired a professional moving company and even the professional moving company did damage to certain things that mattered to her. Having an insurance claim and the ability to go back to them is going to be far more valuable than you hiring uh, Uncle Ted's nephew down the street to do it on the cheap and then you end up with broken stuff. So that's your choice, but it's one of those things I highly recommend. I believe me, I've cheaped out and done this all myself. I'm now approaching 50 years old and can't continue to do this with my back. My kids are growing out of the house. And so paying professional movers is one of the things that we're gonna recommend that ends stage three. Now, let's talk about stage four. Stage four, you're gonna to wanna to set up your services before you get here. Power, water, gas, internet. Let's talk about those. Some states, there's multiple power companies that you can choose for a single property. That's not true here. Each one of the service areas has a power company that services that area. You really don't get a choice in what you pay for the power. Um, so you're gonna to have to use it. For my example, myself, I'm Amicola EMC. That's gonna be the power company. Uh, the water is probably going to be the same and as you get here into Woodstock, if you decide to live in one of the adjacent communities, let's say in Canton, uh, you might even get where you're going to have well and septic rather than sewer and city water. Uh, I'm on city water, Cherokee County Sewer and Water Authority is who you're going to go to to get those things set up. They're going to want specific documentation. You don't want to do it last minute so that when you close on a house and you move into it, you don't want to end up in a situation where you're going on a Friday you didn't do this thing and the water's off and they're, they're not coming back till Monday to turn it back on. Believe me, the weekend without the ability to flush the toilets is not a fun weekend. When it comes to internet services, depending on where you are, you're gonna have several choices. If you end up going into the northern areas where they don't have the two major providers, you'll be able to get uh, into stuff that is DSL. It's not the greatest. Uh, but it does suffice and uh, that's gonna be Windstream. But a majority of the area is gonna be covered by Comcast, not all of it, but a majority of it. And Comcast will have high-speed internet available to you known as Xfinity. Um, those that aren't a fan of Xfinity where available, they tend to go with AT&T Fiber. Obviously, AT&T Fiber is gonna be the fastest, most aggressive. My office has AT&T Fiber, but my house is just a little bit outside of where they put the fiber and so I'm stuck with Comcast Xfinity out there. Both of them will get things done for you, uh, but we also have uh, available as one of the services with our clients is we use Custom Tom and he's able to go in and actually depend on which uh, you choose, he can set up your TV, your internet at no additional cost for you. All that annoying time you spend on the phone waiting for stuff to happen, he can take care of that for you as a professional and then get it set up and even get you whatever the deals are. Now gas, on the other hand, is a different service altogether. Gas is a commodity and you can pick a gas company to be able to do. So you can shop that, uh, Georgia Natural Gas or, or even Gas South. And we even have special programs where we can send you a link where you'll get benefits where you don't have to put down a deposit, um, where you can lock lower rates for a longer period of time as one of our clients. Because being somebody who deals with people moving in from Michigan and California and Florida and Illinois, these are services that really just uh, our team with its experience is able to give you guys and kind of give you the, the scuttlebutt on what's happening locally and be able to help take care of you. The next big one in stage four is going to be plan the drive. If you're driving and not flying down, especially if you're going to have um, a, a large moving truck that you are personally driving, break up the drive. You don't wanna to try to do this in a 14 hour run. Perhaps that's the old guy talking from his experience. Yes, we, we've all done it before. I've done a 24 hour drive, probably shouldn't have done that. I remember once when I was in college in Minneapolis, we were going to the Outer Banks of North Carolina for a. Uh, a summer internship that we were doing down there and uh, we did that drive I think in one shot and it was extremely painful. I learned the limits of what caffeine could do and if those of you that are old enough will remember Jolt Cola, I think it's still a thing where it's like four times the caffeine. Yeah, now I probably have cardiac arrest if I did that. Avoid those mistakes. Break it up so that when you come in, if you're driving in the day of closing, especially if you have a truck, you want to be rested. You don't want to be frustrated. 
And if you're planning your services like a mover, which is what I'm gonna recommend that you hire a mover on this end to go ahead and move into your house, you really wanna plan that after the closing. What you don't wanna do is set that up to be 10 a.m. on the day of closing. Something happens and closing moves to 4 p.m. Now you've got movers you've paid for that cannot get into the house. So you want to engineer that and you don't want it to be so tight that there's no margin for error. And that's something that we can walk you through on a purchase to make sure that we have the right amount of time to be able to go ahead and try to bulletproof that part of the transaction for you. Which brings me to the last point of stage four, which I said earlier, hire movers. This is, you know, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse on that. But we are relocation experts that love Cherokee County and Cobb County. We have done thousands of transactions over this area over the years. We've been in business for more than 20 years serving this community. We know the community well. Uh, we know the social clubs and we would love to be here for you. If you're thinking about relocating to this area, reach out to us or give us a comment below. And my number is going to be on the screen and down in the description. If you want to have a free consultation or do um, a, a buyer consult via Zoom, we can set that up and kind of talk you through the process and help you to make it a smooth transition and save you thousands, uh, avoiding some of the mistakes that we have seen people make over and over again when they're doing a relocation. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.